Hello, this is Matt from TracyMatt.co.uk and today I'm looking at the iMate Jammer 101 and this is a relatively inexpensive entry-level Windows mobile device from iMate. As you can see, the box design is um, pretty standard iMate stuff. If we have a look inside, let's see what we get with the device. Sitting right on top, we have the Jammer itself look at in just a second. Have a set of headphones or a wired headset which has inline microphone with push button and volume control on the side. Headphones which look okay. Nothing terribly exciting but not awful. And on the other end is a 2.5mm 4 pole jack. So if you want to use any other headphones, you need a 2.5mm to 3.5mm adapter, but they're pretty easy to come by. Also, mains charger, which is again pretty standard with a mini USB style connector for charging. And there is, again, a pretty standard USB to mini USB sync and charge cable connecting the jammer to your PC. And finally there's a spare stylus inside the box. Just push this to one side. Give you warranty cards and so on on the top. Okay, so here's the Jammer 101. It's a pretty small device, quite narrow. Um, and also quite thin, reminiscent of the original uh, iMate Jam or the HTC Magician, that kind of a device, slightly longer. I'm just taking a look around, nothing on the actual top of the device. Down the side we have a rocker, up-down volume control style rocker, which interestingly is on the right-hand side as opposed to the left-hand side. Uh, almost every other device that I've come across uh, recently has had that volume control or rock or navigator uh, on the left. There's also a button for the camera. Stylus slides in at the bottom. It is telescopic. Pretty standard stuff. On the bottom we have a hole for the microphone and a reset button. And under that rubber cover we, we have the mini USB socket for sync and charge. And on the other side, under another rubber flap, is the headphone socket. Again, as I say, that's a 2.5mm headphone socket. Up the left hand side, we have a cover for the micro SD card. And finally, along the top, there is what looks like a power button, but it is in actual fact a, a rubber cover for the external antenna. So if we just remove the back, we can have a look at the battery. Incidentally, removing the battery don't stick your finger in and try and pull it out from the bottom, it actually lifts out from the top despite there being a notch. So if we lift the battery out, see this is where our SIM card goes just underneath. The battery itself is a 1020mAh battery. So let's just push that back together. There we go. Okay, and on the back we have a 2 megapixel camera. There is a built-in mirror should you want to take pictures of yourself. No flash. There are two loudspeakers either side, just behind the grills there. So on the front we have a 2.4 inch touchscreen, which is 240 by 320. Same sort of size touchscreen as you'd expect to perhaps find on um, a smartphone rather than a pocket PC. Underneath there are soft keys, a Windows button and an OK button, your send and then phone keys, and a D-pad style navigator with a push button in the centre. I'll just bring that in to compare this to a Titan, Titan 2. You can see it's a little smaller, it's a little narrower, and it's quite a bit thinner. It's much, much lighter. Incidentally, although comparing the two side by side, there doesn't appear to be very much difference between the two in terms of size. Um, when you actually hold the jammer in your hand, it does strangely feel a lot smaller. Um, and look a lot smaller than when you actually put the two side by side. Specification is uh, 
fit, as I say, fairly basic. This is designed as an entry level device. It is Windows Mobile 6 Professional, 64 meg of RAM, 128 meg of ROM, 300 megahertz processor. Uh, it's only tri band, not quad band. It only has GPRS, not 3G or HSDPA. As I mentioned, there is a micro SD card slot so you can increase the storage. 2 megapixel camera on the back and built in Bluetooth. Other than that, fairly basic, standard installation of Windows, nothing terribly exciting. But as I say, this is designed as a basic entry level device, which we're going to be looking at over the next week or so, and we'll be back online with a review soon.